This is a really special piece. Yeah. Now we finished actually three days ago. But it's like it makes Hi, my name is Esther Verband, and today I would love to invite you to a personal journey of mine, how I took a step onto a very unknown territory, because from the base of my education, I am a fashion designer and I have my own fashion brand since over 17 years, but I always had a very interdisciplinary approach to my work and I always try to find different outlets of my creativity. I think my very first important contact with art was when I was working three months in Moscow with the Russian artist Gosha Ostretsov. He was a huge influence for me and I was very inspired by his work. He was a painter, a sculptor. Um, he, his drawings were amazing, but he also did some costumes I would not call it fashion. And then the next huge impulse or input was in 2009 when I met two amazing artists from Berlin, Nomad and Jabo. And both had written, tattooed on their foreheads, freedom and art. And then, yeah, Jabo became somehow my mentor, my muse put a seed inside of myself for, for something more than that. And I dipped my big toe into that water from time to time, but I never dared to you know, just take my clothes off and just jump into the water. So my first little dipping toe moments were situations when I created my first big textile landscape. Um, for an exhibition with the Fashion Council Germany. They asked a few designers from Belgium and from Germany to do something but more connected to art than to fashion. And I took it very seriously and I didn't show fashion at all. I just showed a big uh, piece for the wall, which was my first textile landscape. And then the gallerist Jochen Hempel from Leipzig came into my store and said he's following my work and um, yeah, would love to ask me how I feel about doing an exhibition in his gallery. Back then he had no idea what I could do, what I was capable of doing. Back then I had no idea what I was capable of doing. Der Fokus der Galerie ist ganz klar auf zeitgenössische Kunst und äh, das Galerieprogramm ist aber sehr breit aufgestellt. Es ist wirklich zwischen Installation, Malerei, Fotografie. So when Jochen finally asked me, Esther, let's do this solo show, let's make this happen, I knew immediately my answer was yes, but the fear came later. Today is a bit frustrating especially for Jana, because she was for weeks planning the whole engineer technique behind one of my big art pieces, the Black Ocean, because my vision was that 
It was supposed to move. She really became a MacGyver and an engineer and planned what engines to buy. And she just told me that all of a sudden these engines she picked in the internet, they are not available anymore. First, I wanted to use paint, black paint, and use different materials. But the more I thought about it, I realized, no, I need to work with the material, with the medium I know very well, which is textile. So really creating textile landscapes, going into three-dimensional sculptures with textiles. I had books of Japanese three-dimensional pattern making, which I never used before. And one evening I was sitting on my sofa at home and I was flipping through these books and then just one one idea after another came came out of me it's the same inspiration and it's the same approach like i create a new collection it's very protective and maybe this is an overall inspiration for me no matter what i touch um aber das tolle ist hier sind ganz ganz viele leute freunde von Jochen, Freunde von Albrecht, die irgendwie alle da sind und helfen. Und ich merke gerade so, jeder hat irgendwie Ideen und versucht einfach den Gehirnschmalz hier mit reinzubringen, damit es einfach heute Abend hängt und morgen alles funktioniert. The first idea I had was the Black Ocean. It's five big circles, different diameters. For me, it has the idea of something very poetical maybe even romantic, although probably the word would not come to my mind if I look at it now, but maybe it still does. Something beautiful, sensitive, moving. The Per Banditen started actually with the frame. I had this idea for this very zigzag, asymmetrical frame, and I knew that something needed to come out of that frame like really big and i wanted like a black mountain like with some clouds going on i see this goddess who who tells me don't be afraid esther um everything you want is on the other side of fear so this is what the what the text is actually actually saying but with all the the threats going over it it, the, the meaning of the text is less important or becomes less important. I knew I wanted to have a triptych showing the bridge between fashion where I come from into something very different. So the first part of the triptych is showing pattern pieces, two-dimensional pattern pieces, positioned in a way next to each other a bit like a zero waste concept. From that first part of the triptych, I started rather to work like an architect and made this two dimensional work into a three dimensional work. And these fields, this flat fields became uh, a city, became buildings, houses. And I decided where I wanna have streets and then the, the last, the, the third triptych part is the same three-dimensional thing, but then just collapsing like the ap apocalypse when, yeah, actually the, the nature gets back the, the city. Now that it's all done and it's still hanging there, I feel how important it is to follow impulses. And I know that this work has a huge impact on all the work I do. It just broadened my horizon immensely. And I'm so curious how the next collection will be like, or the next project, because it's now, it's now like the experience is in all the cells and I can't get it off.